bang, bang, bang went the hammer of judgment upon me. It is a day I will never forget. It was the day they said I killed you. The day they put me away for that painful and hideous thing they said that I did. The day the real killer would be set free of the crime that he committed while I took the punishment. The day everything changed. I had a cellmate that first week. Ringo. He asked me what I was in for and I told him. I told him someone had taken you away and I got the blame. Fifteen years worth of blame. A crime committed in the heat of passion is what they called it. He seemed to understand. He said he was sorry at least. And he told me he could get me anything I wanted when I got out. I asked if I could have you back. He said that's the one thing he couldn't do. Well, after a week he was gone. And I was alone. Alone to think about you. Alone to wonder about whether you deserve justice. About whether the criminal who committed this crime against you deserves to be punished. He should be here in my place. He came to visit me once. The man who killed you. The man I thought was my friend. He told me everything. He told me of his obsessions. And how he was infatuated with you. And how he loved you. And how he couldn't let anyone else be with you. and how it was better this way. I tried to tell the guards what he told me, but I was just reminded that it was my hand that ended your life. I guess they figured they already had the killer. So why look for the real one? Oh God, how I wish you were here right now. Your words could straighten this whole thing out. But you're gone. You're gone forever. And I'm here. And I'm here all alone. Revenge became my reason to live. Revenge for everything we would never have. Could never have. So I waited for that day. The day when I would hear my time is up. My sentence served. The day when I would take my revenge for you. The woman I love. day he would pay for what he did to us. And that day finally came. The day they said I was reformed. But you can't reform an innocent man. They gave me everything I had. A 
suit, a wallet, and a ring. But they didn't give me one thing. They didn't give me my revenge. So I went to see Ringo. And he gave me what I wanted. A pistol. In exchange for my token of love meant for you. And somehow I knew that everything would be made right. As I approached his house, I thought about how that shot would feel. How liberating it would be. How I could finally let go of you knowing that justice was served. The rage grew within me as I knocked on his front door. The door opened. And there he was looking at me. And he knew exactly who I was. And why I was there. But instead of releasing justice through the barrel at that moment for the world to see, I forced him inside with his wife. For a nice little chat. made him look at the barrel as his wife yelled at me wanting to know why. Why I'd come into her home to kill her husband. So I made him tell her everything. At first she didn't believe him, thinking it was all made up, just to save what little hope for life he currently had. But as he went on talking about that rock, the one he still kept after all these years, his memento of what he did, she began to see the truth. She began to see him for the man that he really was, and she was disgusted that she'd married such a man. By the end, she had had it. She was egging me on to pull the trigger, telling me to end his life. And I was about to. when I realized it would release him from all the pain he would have to go through. So I put the gun away, and I took the last thing that he held that was yours, and I walked out of that house somehow more at peace than when I'd entered, knowing that justice might truly be served. What's he gonna do next? I don't know. What do I care? All that matters to me now is that I'm here. With you. Now. And forever. <laughs>